This year I started doing a weekly reset routine and I have found it's improved my life so much. A reset allows you to start the week on a positive note and it sets you up for a more productive week. So today I wanna walk you through my reset process and hopefully you'll feel inspired to come up with your own routine to improve your productivity and your life in general. My reset routine begins with laundry. I like to start off with the most time consuming tasks that sort of run in the background while I'm checking off other things in my routine. So laundry of course is one of those things. And I know laundry isn't something a lot of people look forward to. There's nothing exciting about it. It's just one of those things that needs to get done. So that's why I really love the idea of only doing laundry once a week. Everything is washed, folded, and put away on the same day, and for the next six days, I don't have to think about it. Meal prepping is another one of those time-consuming tasks that I like to get started on and leave running in the background. I like for my meals to be as fresh as possible, so I don't make complete meals on my reset day. I eat a mostly plant-based diet, so a lot of the meals I make require grains, all kinds of beans, lentils. So my meal prepping consists of cooking these in advance. It just makes preparing meals during the week so much easier when I have these ready. and I like to make the most of my time. I'm very intentional about everything I do. So while I do this, I'm also catching up on my favorite podcast or listening to an audiobook. While the laundry and meal prepping are going on, I move on to clearing my email. I answer all of the emails that need to be responded to, I unsubscribe from newsletters I no longer want to receive, and I archive or delete emails that I no longer need. And I do this until all of my inboxes are empty. Next, I update my budget. So I'll add any new or missing transactions that I made throughout the week, I move money around and make adjustments to cover any overspending, and I make sure my accounts are balanced. The budgeting app I use is YNAB. I've been using it for over a year, and it's been a real game changer in my life. I have my entire family using it now, and I plan to share more videos on budgeting, so keep an eye out for that. The next step in my routine is what I call clear, delete, transfer. So I'll go through my phone and delete photos, videos, and screenshots that I took throughout the week that I don't want, and I'll transfer the ones I do want to my computer for storage. This way I don't have an overwhelming number of photos and random screenshots taking up space on my phone. This is also when I clear my downloads folder and empty the trash on my computer. Resetting all of these things is so satisfying to me and it just helps keep my digital space clutter free. Now I move on to planning for the week ahead. So this is when I'll revisit my goals for the month and plan my week accordingly so I make sure I'm on track to meet my goals. This is also when I plan out my workouts for the week and my meals for the following week. So I'm actually two weeks ahead when it comes to meal planning and I have my grocery list ready so I know exactly what to buy. I love the feeling of sleeping in a nice, clean bed. So changing the sheets is also something I really look forward to on my reset day. Now I move on to tidying and cleaning. During this time, I put away any random things that have just been lying around. I put everything back in its home and then I wipe down all surfaces where dust tends to accumulate.
I recently learned how to deep clean my retainers. You basically just soak them in vinegar and I do this once a week so I thought doing it on my reset day would be perfect so I don't forget. And this is also when I'll wash my makeup brushes. So these are two habits that I used to overlook but ever since I added them to my weekly reset, they get done. I used to have a hard time taking care of my plants. I would water them randomly and I didn't really have a system that worked. And unfortunately, I ended up killing several plants because of this, but I learned my lesson and now with the help of a moisture meter, I know exactly when they need water. So I do this on my reset day and I also clean their leaves so they can absorb the sunlight better and stay healthy. The last but most important step in my weekly reset is self-care. This is my way of thanking myself for all that I've done throughout the week. And I hope by now you're feeling inspired to create a reset routine for yourself, one that works for you. And if you do, make sure to add this last step to your routine. Show yourself some love. You deserve it. I guarantee you'll feel completely renewed and ready for the new week ahead. So I hope you found a little bit of motivation in this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon.